In the ever-evolving world of wearable technology, Apple has built a reputation for setting the standard year after year. Every September, millions of Apple fans and tech enthusiasts around the globe tune in to see what the company will unveil next. This year, the excitement is particularly intense because we are now just a couple of months away from the launch of the Apple Watch Series 11. If you've been keeping an eye on the rumors, leaks, and industry chatter, you'll know that this upcoming model is shaping up to be one of the most significant updates in recent memory. Apple is not just refining its smartwatch, it's pushing it into a new era of health tracking, connectivity, and performance. The Series 11 is expected to introduce features that will make it an even more indispensable companion for your wrist. Whether you're a dedicated athlete, a busy professional, or someone focused on monitoring your long-term health. Looking back at Series 10, a major design shift, but limited functional change Edo understand why Series 11 is generating such hype. We need to rewind to the launch of the Apple Watch Series 10. When it debuted, it was widely regarded as the most significant physical redesign since the original Apple Watch. The casing was made 10% thinner than the Series 9, making it noticeably sleeker and more comfortable on the wrist. More impressively, Apple managed to increase the display size without increasing the watch's footprint. Thanks to its edge-to-edge -edge design, the Series 10 offered the largest display ever seen on a standard Apple Watch Yes, even larger than the Apple Watch Ultra's display in terms of usable area. This gave users more space for complications, watch faces, and text, making it more practical and visually stunning. However, beyond this striking redesign, the Series 10 was more of an incremental upgrade in terms of functionality. It was powered by the S10 chip, which delivered respectable performance but did not significantly alter the user experience. From the Series 9, battery life remained the same despite the larger display, and while the hardware felt premium, many users noted that the changes were more cosmetic than functional. This is precisely why Series 11 has so much potential it's thriving after a year, where Apple laid the design foundation, and now it's ready to build on it with serious technological advancements. Upgrade number one, the power of the S11 Chiponi. Of the headline upgrades for the Apple Watch Series 11 is the introduction of the new S11 chip. While Apple refreshes its smartwatch processors almost every year, the jump from the S10 to the S11 is expected to be more meaningful than usual. Apple's wearable chips are built on the company's custom silicon architecture, optimized for efficiency, low heat output, and tight integration with watchOS. The S11 will likely take advantage of a more advanced manufacturing process potentially. A smaller nanometer size which means it can deliver more processing power without consuming extra battery life for everyday users. This could translate into smoother animations, faster app launches, more reliable Siri interactions, and better background health tracking. The efficiency gains might also allow Apple to squeeze out a bit more battery life, even when introducing new power-hungry features like the upgraded modem. This is especially important for those who use their Apple Watch for extended GPS workouts, music streaming, or continuous health monitoring. The S11 is essentially the brain of the Series 11, and a more capable brain means the watch can do more without slowing down or draining the battery too quickly. Upgrade number two, a custom 5G modem for the first time perhaps the most impactful upgrade for the Apple Watch Series 11 is its leap into the 5G era. Apple is reportedly equipping the new model with its own custom design modem, marking a shift away from third-party solutions. This modem will allow the watch to connect to 5G networks for the first time ever. Now, before you imagine downloading huge files or streaming for K videos on your wrist, it's important to note that the watch's 5G capability is more about stability and future-proofing than raw speed. Currently, the Apple Watch supports for GLTE for cellular models, but with 3G networks already being phased out worldwide and for G coverage sometimes inconsistent in certain areas, moving to 5G ensures the watch will remain compatible with modern networks for years to come. In practical terms, this could mean faster and more reliable Siri responses, smoother music streaming without your iPhone nearby more accurate real-time navigation, and even better integration with emergency services for people who run, cycle, or travel without carrying their iPhone. This upgrade could be a game changer. Upgrade number three, a long-awaited blood pressure sensor Apple's health features have always been one of its biggest selling points. And with the Series 11, the company is taking another bold step forward by introducing a built-in blood pressure sensor. While the Apple Watch already offers heart rate monitoring, ECG capabilities, and blood oxygen measurement, Blood pressure monitoring has been the missing piece of the puzzle for years. This new sensor, likely located on the underside of the 
watch will be able to alert users if their blood pressure rises to unhealthy levels. For athletes, this could help avoid overexertion during intense workouts. For those with hypertension or cardiovascular risks, it could provide timely warnings before a more serious event like a stroke or heart attack occurs. Even for people under chronic stress, real-time monitoring could be a valuable tool in managing their overall health. While it may not completely replace a traditional medical-grade blood pressure cuff, it could serve as an early warning system and encourage users to take preventive action. What's missing? Glucose monitoring still on the horizon while the addition of blood pressure monitoring is exciting. There's one highly anticipated health feature that still isn't arriving in Series 11. Non-invasive glucose monitoring. Apple has been working on this technology for years, and there are credible reports of successful prototypes. However, the challenge lies in getting the readings accurate enough for medical use and securing regulatory approval. The technology would allow diabetics and health-conscious users to track blood sugar levels without finger pricks. But for now, it remains just out of reach. Industry analysts believe this could debut in the Series 12 or Series 13, but for now, Apple seems focused on perfecting the feature rather than rushing it. This means Series 11 will still need to rely on third-party glucose monitors. For those who require this functionality, design and build subtle refinements rather than a complete overhaul since the Series 10 introduced a major physical redesign. The Series 11 is expected to keep the same overall shape and display sizes. However, Apple often uses these refinement years to introduce new materials, colors, and band options. There are whispers about Apple exploring more eco-friendly materials for its watch casings and bands in line with its environmental commitments. We might also see limited edition finishes or collaborations with luxury fashion brands. To keep the design lineup fresh dot battery life, can the S11 and 5G coexist? Adding a 5G modem could increase power consumption, so the big question is whether the Series 11 can maintain or even improve upon the all-day battery life of its predecessor. Thanks to the more efficient S11 chip and possible software optimizations in WatchOS 11, Apple is reportedly confident the Series 11 will still deliver at least the same battery performance as Series 10, with the possibility of small improvements. In low-power modes. Release date predictions of Apple sticks to its traditional schedule. The Series 11 will be announced at a September event alongside the iPhone 17 lineup. The likely event window is the week starting September 8th, with the keynote possibly taking place on Tuesday, September 9th, or Wednesday, September 10th, 2025. Pre-orders would open that Friday, followed by the first units shipping the following week, likely on September 19th. Pricing, holding steady or creeping up. The base 42mm or equivalent size aluminum GPS model of the Series 10 currently starts at $399, while the larger size is priced around for $129. Unless there are major changes in tariffs or production cost, Apple is expected to maintain these prices for the Series 11. Of course, cellular connectivity, premium materials like stainless steel or titanium, and special edition bands can push the price well beyond $700. Final thoughts, a balanced upgrade. For 2025, while the Series 11 may not completely reinvent the Apple Watch, it represents one of the most balanced updates in recent years. With a faster chip, future-proof 5G connectivity, and the long-awaited blood pressure sensor. It offers meaningful improvements without sacrificing the sleek design introduced in Series 10. For those holding onto older models like Series 7 or Series 8, this could be the perfect time to upgrade.